I don't know what it is. As much as I know that I've been visually impaired for 12 years, I don't act like it. Hey, it's A, and these are my Legally Blind Essentials. If you're new to my channel, I'm Legally Blind. I was diagnosed in what, 2011, 2010, a long time ago, but as my vision's been deteriorating, I use these things on the daily to help me adjust and adapt. If you're legally blind, you know it. And if you don't, thanks for stopping by on this video. These are things that you can use if you can see too, and the way I use them help me make my life easier and hopefully they'll help you. We're gonna break this up into two categories, beauty and home. If you want a series, get this up to 200 likes and I can do work version and other lifestyle areas. But for this video, I wanna keep it short and sweet, so we're gonna start off with beauty. This first thing that I have to share is something that I use every single morning without it I couldn't do anything with my face no makeup no making sure there's no crust in my eyes nothing and it is this magnifying mirror right here <laughs> this is actually a contact lens mirror and that's why it's 10x zoom but hey it works I wish they had a compact version because I do travel with this whether I go abroad or I stay overnight I have to take this with me if I want to look at it. the thing about this mirror is it is so clutch but my vision's been worsening to the point where it is getting harder to even use this but if you are newly diagnosed and your vision isn't as bad as mine is yet you could probably get away with the 2x or 6x zoom I'm looking to upgrade this soon but it's been holding me down for a little over a year and I'm very very grateful that this exists even though this wasn't the original purpose of this you know what I took in all of the beauty I have to share with you with the exception of one thing is all eye products that's not saying something I don't know what is the first is my favorite mascara this is the dark star by Pat McGrath and I absolutely adore this the problem with not being able to see your lashes is you can't see clumps so how are you gonna get rid of clumps you can't see don't get clumps in the first place I'm telling you this bristle is clump free certified just make sure when you take it out you take it slowly out because the product is the two C's but using this on your lashes perfection trust me it is worth every single penny let's talk about the brows for a bit i have two products depending on what you prefer i got a gel and i got a pencil this is from anastasia beverly hills and it's in dark brown you can also get the clear formulation but what i love about this one is that the bristle is really really small the brush is super micro you would think for someone who can't see small things i'd want something bigger but no the bigger the thing is, the bigger problems you'll have. I find when you use something that has a smaller brush, bristles, tip, whatever, you're gonna have a smaller margin of error. And when I use this, I'm using this in a rush because I just want my brows to look okay without doing too much work. And this is the best product I've ever used. I might've started using the Precisely My Brows by Benefit, say three or four years ago, and I just haven't looked back. It is perhaps one of the most micro-tipped fine point pencils I've ever seen on the market, which again, you would think you can't even see that tip, so how can you use it? But that is the key, because anytime I use anything th thicker than this, my brows look a mess. It, I just do too much and I'm heavy handed. I don't know what it is. As much as I know that I've been visually impaired for 12 years, I don't act like it. So sometimes when I'm applying my makeup, I'm applying it like I did when I had perfect vision. But luckily with this, it doesn't matter if you're heavy handed, you can always blend it out with this side or do this before. If you have good friends, they're gonna let you know that this brow is darker. I don't know what it is, but this brow is always darker. More often than not, I end up leaving my house okay, and that's why my part is on this side anyway. <laughs> Next up are these two. Why everything in twos today? Is this Noah's Ark? I have this pencil and liquid liner, depending on what you prefer. Four years, I gave up on doing a wing liner. And if you know me, I loved a good cat eye when I had perfect vision, but the more and more my vision deteriorated, even with my magnification mirror, it wasn't working. I was so happy when I discovered this a year ago because not only does it have the creamiest of creamy pencils on one end, and it's got a flat brush specifically made for winging it out so you don't have to struggle with it. I just can't see well enough to get the line right. So this, I just turn on an angle and just whoop, and I'm good to go. And this wasn't made for blind people, but hey, if people who can see perfectly are struggling to get their wing liner on point, 
I went out on a whim and got this in a set with a mascara, which is meh at best. But this liner though, another super fine point tip, which is really good because if I want to get a cat eye, I can at least try to thicken it. Whereas other ones that are thicker, it is too hard to come back from. I have a hack I'll share with you in a second on how to get back from that. But if you wanna get it right the first time, this is from Rare Beauty and it is so good. I don't wear foundation much. If you know me, I only wear it when I film, but when I do, I still want everything to be balanced, even and smooth. And that's why I've been pulling out my beauty blender. I know it's basic, I know it's classic, but it's a cult favorite for a reason. This is the best tool you'll ever use when it comes to pouncing the product into your skin and smoothing it. I never have to worry, is there more product here? Did I not even out here? Because using this with water in it is gonna make sure that my skin is smooth and a little radiant every single time. In this box, I have something that we've all seen before, but if you can't see, well, you're gonna need this more. Ring. I don't know where the box came from. My friend gifted it to me, but these Q-tips I got from the drugstore and not intentionally do they match pink on pink. These are super clutch when it comes to making sure that your makeup is on point. Whether you make a mistake while you're applying, you can just squeeze the tip. That way it's a little more pointed. I oftentimes get stuff on my waterline. Whether it's the mascara or my eyeliner pencil went a little too low or maybe I had fallout from trying to do eyeshadow, that's one thing I really need to let go. I can use this with a little bit of makeup remover or just simply water to clean it up there. Or like I said, if I'm doing a wing liner and it's crooked, which it is a lot of the time, I can't lie, I can even it out like that. You can also use these for a whole bunch of other things. They're really good for spot treatments. I use them to clean my diffuser. Trust me, when you become visually impaired, you have to get creative when you're adapting. I'm no pro when it comes to makeup application, which is why I didn't have so much to show you. But when it comes to removal, I don't play around, especially with my skin. I always swear by the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, but I wanted to show you guys something different. This is L'Oreal's Micellar Water, and I use this specifically and mostly for my eye makeup. As much as I think I get stuff off because I can't see well enough to verify in my bathroom mirror, I'll use this with a cotton pad to get every last bit off. It was recommended to me years ago when I was obsessed, I would even say addicted to my lash extensions. Every time I go in for a fill, she's like, there's still a product. I'm like, no, I washed two times. And she would use this and I would still see stuff on the Q-tip. So that's when I realized, you know what? Falsies or not, this is a major key to making sure that your eye makeup is completely gone. I know what you're thinking, girl, why are you showing me this? Are you telling me to floss? Nope, that's what your dentist is for, but I'll tell you what these floss loops are good for. I use these whenever I need to sew something. I can see well enough to kind of sew. I'm not sewing anything like crazy, just fixing holes. But when I need to, I can't spend half an hour trying to thread a loop through an eye of a needle that I can't see. What I do instead is use a floss loop. All you gotta do is put the thread through here, use the stip tip to fit through the eye of the needle and that's it. Then you can sew if you need to. I don't know how many of you guys are out here sewing, but I find myself sewing stuff a lot. I don't know if they don't make clothes like they used to, but if I need to fix like a rip or snag or something, I don't have the time to struggle with the thread and the needle that I cannot see. So I just use this and I do my best. Over the years, I've shown you so many things on this channel, but I never thought I would take time to talk to you about this. A spoon, and you know what's more embarrassing? I only have one of these spoons. When I bought this years ago, I got it for the aesthetic of a long handle because I hadn't seen one before. And now the store doesn't exist in Toronto. I wish I bought a full set because these are so helpful when you're using them for hot beverages or soups. The longer the handle, the further away the thing that's gonna spill or splatter on you that you can't see will be. Trust me, this helps me so much and I wanted to mention it because I know a lot of the times if you're watching the vlogs, you're seeing me do things and you're like, how'd she do that? I'm telling you, Something as small as a spoon with a longer handle will make a big difference for you. Every time I have company over, they ask me what this is, and then I go, <sighs> sometimes <sighs> I have to blow on it because I dropped it. <laughs> But it is a USB candle lighter, and I love that it, again, is length, so when it comes to hot things, like I said with the spoon, the more distance between what you're doing, the less likely you're gonna burn your digits. So I absolutely love this. It also comes with a light that doesn't always work. Okay, now you can turn off. See what I mean? Now it's jammed. The only thing worse than not seeing a wick to light a candle is burning yourself in the process. And I find when I use a shorter lighter, I'm holding it for so long trying to find the wick that I burn my fingertips. So at least 
It still takes a long time, I can't lie, but I'm not burning myself in the process. I'm spill prone. It is so hard to pour something into another thing that you cannot see well. So in order to save money, because I have spilled a lot, I've been using these funnels. I never thought I would talk about home things like this because they're just basic. You know, they're just essentials that you never really think. And to be honest, I wouldn't have bought these if I wasn't legally blind because I used to free pour all the time. But I've learned the hard way from having to clean many a mess and lose many oat milks that it's just better to use a funnel. It really helps a lot. The larger the circumference is, the easier it is for you to just pour and then get it right where you need it to. For my clean freaks, I got some for you. Microfiber cloths. I didn't choose the colors, I got these for free 99. Beggars can't be choosers. I use this one for my bathroom and these for my kitchen. They are so essential. I use them on the daily to make sure my surfaces are clean, crumb free, speck free, fleck free, everything free. Cause I can't see smudges, I can't see tiny this and that. But when I'm editing in post pro and I see little crumb over here, it annoys me so much. I, I'm only speaking for me, I don't think losing vision is an excuse for my place to be where we're at. So I want it to still be clean and I use these wet or dry depending on what surface I'm wiping to make sure everything is spotless in a place. The next things I have to show you are neither beauty nor home. I wanted to put them in this video since I use them every single day and they help in a huge way. The first are my AirPods and secondly, my iPhone. If you're not an Apple head like me, don't go and buy these. Unless, hey, Apple, you wanna sponsor your girl? Because I could really rant about these. My AirPods have been a game changer for me. I use them on the daily from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. They help me for everything. From work to socializing, these are my major key to making my phone more accessible for me. As I've been losing more vision, I see less things. So a lot of times I lean on Siri, which is why you don't need AirPods. You can just whatever Bluetooth headphones you want, but I use them on the daily to get things done. Whether I'm asking Siri what the weather is or when the next train is coming or to text someone or to check something, open a notes or set a reminder. Nine times out of 10, I'm using the voice option. I'm not typing it in. Even when I'm responding to people nowadays, if I'm not sending them a voice note, I'm using voice to text. But yo, voice to text has a girl messed up because sometimes my friend's like, huh? and I read back what Siri sent them and I did not say that. So your girl is playing with me sometimes. I can't even see the keyboard anymore. So half the time I'm like this, trying to zoom in, then trying to zoom out, then trying to zoom in and try to verify. Mm -mm. I don't have time. I don't know if you have enough vision to have time, but where I'm at at this stage in the game, I'm trying to use everything to my advantage to make it easier. So I hope that something in this video helps you on your visually impaired journey, whether you're legally blind, low vision, whatever it is, it's a trip, it's hard, it's not easy. So I hope something in this video helps you adjust, adapt, and ease into your life as it is. If you have anything to add, leave it for the community down below. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.